Hey guys, sorry it's been so long since our last video, but we started a meetup group and we've been quite busy, so um, I will put a link in the description to our new meetup group. It's called the Portfolio Builders. And what we do is we go out with amateurs and professionals, go out shooting, and just having a good time. But in our meetup group, what we're getting is a lot of questions from the new photographers asking, you know, if they have to have the most expensive camera and lenses to get good shots. So, of course, the answer is no. Um, one of the things we do is we teach them how to get their camera off of the auto mode and, and allow them to, you know, experiment with some different shutter speeds, uh, apertures, try to get some better photos. So, this particular lady right here was her first time shooting a model. So, we asked one of our, our models from our meetup to come out and meet us at a park, and we'll just take some photos so she can see the results you can get from, you know, a camera that's, you know, maybe not the most expensive out there, uh, even a professional grade camera. So the camera she used here was a Nikon D3000 camera. Uh, it's a 10 megapixel camera, and she had the kit lenses that she bought with the camera. So, you know, basically I think the, the lens is about a $155 lens, if I'm not mistaken. So what we did was I'm going to jump back and forth through a couple different softwares. I'm still going to do most of my post-processing in Lightroom, but I have started working with a new software plugin for Lightroom and Photoshop. It's called Topaz Labs. I really like this software. And I'm not getting paid by any means from Topaz uh, to, to do this video or even show how this stuff works, but I am impressed by it. So if by any chance Topaz does watch this video, and you want to sponsor our, our meetup group, hey, that'd be great. But if not, uh, I mean, I'm still using the software. So let's just jump into the real quick editing of this image real fast. So one of the things I've learned about Topaz Labs, even on a, a photo like this, even though, you know, it is still very clear. We had her shooting at ISO 100 to make sure that, you know, we took some of the pixelation out of the image. And it's not real bad in this image. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it up a little bit and in Topaz. So what I, what it is is um, I've already done a small adjustment to the image. Um, I did a small cropping of the image. And I'm not going to go through how to do that. I know you guys know how to do that. So, But what I did was I moved this over so that her eye was more on this rule of thirds and had the rose on the other rule of thirds, which kind of draws your eyes toward those two subjects. Okay? So to jump into Topaz, you have to I'll right click and hit edit. And then Fusion Express is the plugin that it uses for Lightroom to use their plugin. If you're using Photoshop, you don't have to have that. All you have to do is just export it. Uh, and you know, I'll, I can do it both ways, but I'll show you how to do it in Lightroom since this is the most of the time that what I'm working in. But with Topaz, I found that a lot of times I'll edit the image uh, in, in Lightroom and then use export, I'm sorry, export out of Lightroom and then use Photoshop because it seems to work a little bit faster. But we're still going to stick here with Lightroom adjustments. So once I export this image over, it'll give me a list of all the plugins that I've added in from Topaz Labs. First thing we're going to do is we're going to denoise this image, which is very simple. Um, we, you know, we did have her shooting in a raw format. We did not, you know, one well, of the other things we teach them is the difference between, you know, a raw image versus a JPEG image. So once Fusion opens up this dialog box, this is all of the adjustments that we have to deal with uh, that they've got. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the denoise, and then you click Run, and what it'll do is then now it opens up Topaz, you know, another window, kind of like exporting other third-party software. So it'll now open it up, and then we'll have the adjustments that we can go through, which are very quick, very easy. Uh, you know, a lot of times I do this with the, uh, you know, in Lightroom itself, but some of the lower-end cameras I found, this software works even better. Um, just doing a little bit better job. And what it, 
the bonus part of it, and I'll show you here once it um, opens it up. When you denoise the image, it actually will apply somewhat of a skin softening to the image for you. Okay? So we're just going to click here to click on the one to one. So on the left hand panel over here, you have all of the different presets that come with the software. So we did shoot this in a RAW. So, you know, if you click on one of them, it'll render a preview for you. And you'll be able to see your image. You see down here in the process that it's, that it's rendering this image. So in these, you don't have to do a lot. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to do a light. On, I mean, you know, let's just change it up a little bit. We'll go moderate on this one. And this is just a little bit addition. So we'll go moderate uh, on here. It'll clean up the image, any pixelations in the image whatsoever. It's, it's actually a really quick, very easy way of doing it. On the other side, you've got all the global adjustments you can use. But for something like this, I just use the basic presets that come with it. Okay. Once it's done, and if you click on the original up here, you'll see the before and the after. Um, and then hit OK. This exports it back into Lightroom for us. So that's the first step when working with this software in Lightroom would be to export it out, denoise it, and now you start doing your adjustments to the image because if you, if you, in a lower resolution camera, if you were to do the adjustments and then denoise it, you actually start to distort your image a little bit. So it's easier if you just go ahead and do this step first, okay? Now that we're back into Lightroom, we'll go through and do the basic editing of an image that I would do. Uh, so what we're going to do is, is, first off, we're going to work in the basic panel here. Exposure, I'm going to leave right where it's at. Um, I'm not going to worry about the exposure. Exposure was good. We were using uh, two different reflectors to make sure we had good lighting on the, the model. So I'm not worried about exposure. So we'll go down to highlights and go minus 100. Shadows go all the way up to 100. The whites, um, I'm just going to pull this up a little bit until I start to see just a little bit of white coming through the image. On this one, it's about 20. Okay. And the blacks, I'm going to add a little more black to the image to, for her dress. So this will be a little bit higher, quite a bit higher to bring this out, which put us in around the 70 to 80. About 80 right there would be good. So you can see already the difference in the image alone, just in those simple adjustments. So clarity, I'm going to add a little bit of clarity, about 10% and about 25% of the vibrance. Okay. Then all I have to do then is just go down to the color adjustments. Um, the greens, you know, it's up to you. If I bring this up to about 50% and then minus 50% in the luminance, I'm going to really make the greens pop out of the image pretty good. And then her shirt and her nails and stuff, I would do the same. Let's go about 50% on the saturation of the red and about minus half of that, 25. We'll darken up her shirt, give it the, you know, the color it really was during that part of the day that we were out working on it. And then, you know, it, again, the detail. This is where I would normally do the noise reduction, you know, but now that I've done it in the software from Topaz, I really don't have to do this step, but I still will add a little bit to the image. So the sharpening, you know, again, I, I don't have to even do that right here. So we'll just leave it alone to show you what you can do without having to do like we always have done before. You always add some sharpening, a little bit of masking, the luminance you would uh, you know, raise it up to clean up the image. But we'll just do it without it here, okay? And then we'll go into the effects, lens correction, we'll leave the same. Let's add a little bit of a vignette, about a minus 40%. Looks really good on this particular image. Okay? So, really this is 
all you have to do to get a good quality image with not a lot of work and without having to spend a lot of money. Now, you know, obviously you can go in, you know, take away some of the flying hairs and stuff that she's got. But the last thing I would do here is the skin softening. Now, I've done videos before in Lightroom how to do this. But, again, Topaz made this pretty easy. So, I'm going to export this image now, again, out of Diffusion Express. And then I'm going to use another software for just the skin softening that they did that made it really easy to blend out her skin. Now, normally I'll go through, you know, and fix, you know, any type of imperfections of her skin, whether it be... Um, you know, a little mole here or there, a little sunspot here or there. It doesn't matter, but I'm not even going to do that in this image. What I'm going to use is there's two ways that this one's got two different ones. Adjust 5 has got a good set of plugins in it for clean or detail. There's actually three. I'm going to just go to the detail 3. We're going to run this plugin. And it's going to have some skin softening. There's about, I think, 5, maybe 6 plugins that will just do the skin softening for us really quick and I'll show you the final result I mean it's, it's actually it smooths out a whole lot of those little imperfections for you without having to do any extra steps I mean we don't have to go in and, and you know remove the things in the eyes you know with the spot removal tools um, none of that so while it's doing this all over here you've got in the collections there is five different collections and each one of them has different presets in it so you can see the it shows the last one that I've used which are the presets for the smooth collection which are all the skin so once this renders this image over here again we'll go through and I'll show you what those look like okay now that it's, it's rendered the image and we're back into the actual software so I'm gonna zoom in here just a little bit on the face we're going to look at it a little bit better. So, in the smooth collection, I've got uh, five different ways or five different presets I can use for the skin alone. So, skin smoothing works extremely well to blend out her skin. So, you can see the wrinkles up in her, or above her eyes have almost just disappeared. Um... You know, soft and dreamy is another one that I find that I use quite a bit for portraits. And then uh, soft and dreamy too is probably my favorite. Uh, three is a little bit too plastically for me. Um, it makes them look like you know, it's a little bit overdone. But I like this one right here, soft and dreamy too, or actually just the one that says skin smoother. And over on the right hand side, you have all of the different uh, global adjustments. Again, you can go in. Um, I don't worry about those too much. So, again, this is the before. This is the after. And that's all there is to it. And then you just hit OK. And this will export it back into Lightroom for us. And we're basically now finished. So, you know, if you're using a lot of, you know, plugins or you don't use some plugins, take a look at this software, Topaz Labs. Um, it's a phenomenal little software. So, you know, I hope this helps. It clears out a couple things. Um, you know, we've done a, a couple, we, this is our, like our fourth or fifth group shoot. And one of the questions we always get is, you know, is that really, you know, yeah, I carry an expensive camera, but do I have to? No, you don't. Okay, you guys, so all you need is a, uh, you know, a decent camera, a little bit of uh, post-processing work, and your pictures will turn out just amazing. So we start. This is the original. This is how it's. This is where we started from. Basically, right out of the camera, minus a little bit of cropping in it. So this is the image that we we finished up with by just adding a couple plugins to screw out the skin. So I hope this helps. Um, you know, if you guys have any questions on this software, you know, I'll try to do some more videos. Yeah, you know, um, you know, if you're using Photoshop, again, it works a little bit faster in Photoshop. You know, so you know, this one, I I do find that I use Photoshop more than Lightroom. I do more of the global adjustments over here in the right-hand panel. 
uh, in photo in, in Lightroom before sending it to Photoshop to do the final part of it. But still, it works the same way. So I hope this helps you guys. Um, if you have any questions, you know, send us a comment. You know, uh, share the video, like the videos. Um, again, we'll we'll put a link in the description to our new meetup group. We're in uh, Riverside County, so if you guys are in the area and want to go do a shoot with one of the models as a group, you know, we'll we're doing that now too as well. So thanks again, guys. You know, have a great one.